Star Dude or whatever. McGeeden. McGeeter. Right there. <laughs> Dude, this is the loudest ranger I've ever heard. I could hear this car running from when I'm walking to the gym. It's because of the belt. Here's your hat, man. You need any more um, spray paint? What? I've got some spray paint in the car. Breaking the law, breaking the law. 60 frames workout summary for the day. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, actually wasn't that hardcore of a workout. To be honest with you, I didn't go as hard. I lost the clips the other day. Basically what I was saying is that Mike drives periodically daily of driving for literally 10 to 20 seconds, shutting off the truck, leaving for an hour or two, coming back, driving for 10 to 20 seconds, shutting up, never letting the truck warm up ever, and he wonders why he has constant issues. The one question you'd ask any chick, and it's the only way you'd ever consider them, is... To listen to rock. So what is the first thing you're gonna do as president one day? Bank chrome on all vehicles. <laughs> Cummins, bitch. driving this truck loving the sound of it and it's just drops amazing and I haven't driv drinking any caffeine about 24 hours now and it feels great had the best sleep of my life all right we're about to be there soon averaging 17.1 on the Lyle meter but I think I actually get better average than that a lot of traffic on the road today but we should be there soon let us zoom into that look at that Tesla it's a Tesla Roadster <laughs> 3.0 <laughs> It's a new one. Oh, carbon. Fourth gen bumper, second gen. Is it dipping diesel? Stacks on the back. Zoom into those stacks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is he just rolling with his turn signal? Again, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. What the? <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. All right, stand second gen. He's getting up. I'm getting up too. Screw the power stroke. Pulling this guy with the stacks. I can go either way, so I'm not just going to follow this guy, but this is crazy. Oh man. That looks so good. Look at that. He even painted the dip white. Got the axle support there that the fourth gen's in. Still has that turn pole down, I guess it's the other turn pole. Now we're going to be able to see the side pan of it. I'm loving the white stacks, looks so good. Doesn't that sound amazing? Nissan? Can you believe that or not? I don't know. About to look at some cool Nissans over here. 
and I, th I was here before, but I never actually drove here. I biked here, believe it or not, so let's see what we can find. Oh, out of fuel. Damn, look at that Chev. It's pretty cool, man. Big whips on it. Alright, so here we go. Here's what we're here for. We got the Titan XD Cummins. Oh, yes. Ooh. So this has got the... It's paired with the ASIN transmission. That guy does not have a license plate for some reason. Anyways, this is a Cummins Turbo Diesel. Oh my gosh, man. I mean, they're alright looking. I wouldn't say they're the best buy style. Not really my favorite, but... It's cool that they have a V8 Cummins. Now, a lot of people think that there's just a sellout and they ruined Ram's business. This is a completely different engine. It's a V8, not inline, so completely different. But it does have the good transmission, which is the ASIN, and they put that in the Ram 3500. It's cool that it has it in this truck, and this is a lighter lighter truck as it is. So. I guess come over here, check it out. Here's the price right on the around the door there. I mean, I'd say this is more spec'd out, too, and in, they only want 50. I know these... I know these other truck brands are a bit cheaper, so it's cool that you get a nice transmission and a truck for really cheap. See, ASIN 6-speed automatic transmission, Cummins 5.0 V8 turbo diesel. I mean, a cheaper truck with some good good additives to it, I guess you could say. Wheels look alright, definitely work truck wheels. Look back here, though. You're set up for a fifth wheel. You got the back window that looks exactly the same as a Ram. And then look at that rear reverse LED lights that actually have moisture trapped in there. But yeah, that's LED back there. That's really cool. Coming on back here. Badged it. It would just be a shape. Look under here. Got cool axles. <laughs> yeah, nothing really much to see down here. I think it's just a standard four inch exhaust. Probably very quiet. But yeah, it's it's it looks all right back here. Not too much to see. And I'm sure they run DEF in these. Yep, there's your diesel exhaust fluid and diesel. Love how big these tanks are. No caps at least. It's locked, but the interior. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. I actually do like the stitching and then the center console. So try to check that out if you can see that. It's actually a really big console there in the middle. I do like that, but it's only two cup holders. And I know there's a lot of these heavy duty trucks now only come with two, so that kind of sucks. So get some of that front end. Look at that. Look how big the grill is on these trucks. I do like these trucks. Look how low these things sit. And the hooks are here. Feels like they could put them there, but that's weird. They're so low. And then there's a lower air valence. Look under there. It even comes lower. <laughs> I think that's lower than my Ram. That is ridiculous. So what are we running here? Well, it's definitely IFS. It's definitely not a solid axle, but man, I didn't know they sat that low. That is pretty dang low. You'd have to lift it. I saw this meme one time. It said, he told me he drove a Cummins, and it was just a picture of one of these. <laughs> oh no, they're still pretty cool. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do like these trucks. But it's, a, it's definitely a good pair but it's definitely not my first, second, or third choice. Every duty truck doesn't give you any five-star ratings, no fuel economy, nothing. It kind of sucks, and it's kind of sad that they don't tell you anything. But anyway, so we, I was looking at the truck, just looking around and everything. First of all, the frame is very exposed. Look at that. Look how exposed that frame is. Ridiculous, but also right here, the truck is rusting. It is, that is rust, that is not dirt. Debris. You can see the paint's chipping off there, more rust. It's rusting bad, and it's 2017, and it's been sitting here for it's been sitting here for quite a while. I don't get it. And then we got a Texas edition Titan. Look at that. It's even lower. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with these trucks, man? Saw it in here somewhere. It was the Nissan talking about the new engine and everything. Found it in the book. I actually looked at it, closed it, probably lost it again. So there's the truck over there, and it is beautiful. And one of the things I forgot to do after I did test drive, it accelerates pretty fast. It's probably because it's a lighter truck. It's just like a 1500. It's light as one of those. 
So it's cool that it has a very nice engine transmission, but the look of it is where, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather go for a truck that I like the look of as well, that sort of goes hand in hand with what's inside. So I guess we'll check out what the engine looks like before we go, and yeah. Go. So what I forgot to do was look at the hood under the hood. There it is. Oh my gosh, Nissan Cummins. <laughs> 50 V8. Look at that thing, it's so square. It's not even that big either, that's the thing. It, there's a lot of room to work on it. To be honest, there's probably more room to work on this than an actual Cummins, but I mean, I don't know, you can see where the EGR and all that kind of stuff is, but it's still pretty cool. I love that plate, that actually looks really cool. I do like that a lot. Because you know on the on the Cummins, the 6.7 the Rams, it's just plastic. That's actually, that's full on metal. That's cool. Looks like the intake would be an easy swap too. The only other thing I'm seeing is that it's probably pretty hard to do a turbo swap, but can't have everything right. <laughs> it's still it's still an amazing truck though. Look at that. What do you think? It's not bad. And you're sold. No. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in the Ram now, and yeah, it was it was pretty cool. The The interior is nice. I don't mind it too much. It's got the flip-up seat. I saw you can plug in your phone. The sound system sounded pretty good. It had satellite radio in it, and it's accelerated fast. It's got a Cummins in it. It's got a strong transmission as well. It's got some cool features like the LED reverse lights. I'm looking at it right now. It's, it's, it's all red and everything. I mean, it's just kind of low. It's got IFS in the front, but it is a lighter truck, so you got... I don't know, just the benefits of probably better gas mileage than the heavy duty ones. What I'm not understanding is is that well actually no, they're they're in comparison to the V8s. I'd say that the, the new diesels coming out for the well at least the eco diesel and the the Ford and the Chevy, they're all getting crazy fuel economy numbers. I don't think that gets that good of fuel economy, but I'm pretty sure it outdoes a lot of the V8s, so that's probably why. The other ones are going to be pretty close. It's more of a fuel economy type of thing with the other diesels. It's all right. I guess the only thing that I don't like is that the exterior is not my favorite. I've never was that much of a fan, but with aftermarket parts, you can make any truck look amazing. So I just called the next place we're headed to. That wasn't going to be the whole video. I did want to check that out and everything, but... I don't know if I'll even get to the truck. I might have to do that tomorrow. I figure I'd try to do it today, but I think I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. But I still have something to do today. We're headed down to East York right now. A lot of traffic on the highway. It's not too bad, and I think we should be there soon. I'm actually on E, so I'm going to have to get some fuel. But I did check the fuel with the Gas Buddy app, and it's actually cheaper down there than it is up here. So I figured you know, I'd drive all the way down there and just risk it. Uh, risk it for the biscuits. So I think we'll be there pretty soon. About to make that big purchase today. It's going to be pretty cool. I think you guys are going to be able to judge from the thumbnail of what's going on. But yeah, we're going to be there pretty soon. And God love driving this truck, man. They got the jack whenever I call. Let's go see if they have it. We're in one of my favorite stores, and that is Harbor Freight Tools. You guys probably love this store too. You get, I see they're really in this area, at least the northeastern area. I'm not sure about the other places. You guys probably have similar stuff. Come check it out over here though. Finally got it guys. I remember the one video I made, they didn't have them, but they finally have them. Look at that. Four, four inch magnetic tray. Perfect. Whenever I'm taking screws off or working on the engine and stuff, installing new parts, definitely perfect to have and I have a coupon for it. So, so we're here at aisle seven, cement mixers. No. I like this one better because it's got offset. Look at this wheel. No negative offset. The deep dish. It doesn't have the deep dish on that. This right here looks like we're at a dentist office. And then we got this right here. Calculate your position with the stars. I 
should get this. All right, guys, we're in the truck now. Five oh, I have some explaining to do. Five oh seven point one miles. I went on this tank, and it says distance till empty. It says thirty seven, so I'll do plus thirty seven. Five forty four point one. It's slowly going down, but it said it did say five forty five point one earlier. So we're gonna go outside, fill it up, and see how big my tank is. And I'll shut it off, and let's fill it up, and I'll explain. All right, let's set all this off and then I'll explain everything that happened in a negative manner. Whoop. All right, there we go. How much sludge just gets on there? Begin fueling. Oh yes, diesel definitely smells better than gasoline in my opinion. Look at that green hose. <laughs> they gotta make the other one red. We're like, wait, red truck, green, Christmas. So I have some explaining to do. Unfortunately, I drove all the way down here. I called first this time, guys. They said they had it. They go back to the back and there's nothing there. What the heck, right? So that kind of sucks. I went to the Harrisburg one. The other day, they didn't have it. I went there before. I, have to, I keep driving it down here for no reason, so I think I should just order it. But this sucks. It just does piss me off really badly that I just keep doing this and it just doesn't work out they don't have it so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna have to order something because this sucks and i keep going there and everything well anyways we're gonna fill the tank and see what the gas mileage is let's see what how much gas fills up so i can know how much my tank is because well i i know i can drive 545 miles 0.1 545.1 with this truck driving conservatively so we're gonna see what kind of gas mileage i can get with these small rubbers look how small these things are i noticed that these are actually smaller than my well actually no I think that's my stock tire size on my Silverado believe it or not but gee they are small are you serious right now <laughs> one hundred dollars is that is that the limit of the tank the the fuel or the tank I think it's the tank because that's twenty 